Amen. Is this going to be calling up for you? Wow. <laughs> what a presentation. Just wanted to say hello and thank you to everyone who's joined us for the Liberty Launch tonight. John, you're absolutely right. Sports has played a great part, a dominant part in my life, both professionally and personally. You know, when you talk about teams, and I was very fortunate to play with arguably the greatest professional sports team in U.S. history. I know Yankee fans don't like to hear that. <laughs> But the success of those teams, all of them, is starting with a vision, not unlike the vision that we have here tonight. And then there was a commitment to that mission. In sports, it was always with the Celtics. The mission was to win an NBA championship, and fortunately for us, we've won 17. <laughs> it wasn't to make the playoffs. It wasn't to come close. It wasn't to win a division title. Anything short of a championship, was unacceptable. And that's what we see here tonight. A great mission, a great vision, but the most important part of that, that play that I was a part of is I got a chance to play with some great players like Larry Bird and Robert Parrish and Dennis Johnson, Kevin McHill, and all the great players made our team a success. And doing that time, there were two very important things that always came out of those championship times. Number one, you had to be willing to work as a unit rather than an individual to achieve your goals and promote change. Whether that change applied to the outcome of a game or to life and education of a child. And secondly, every member of that team was a vital part of it, not unlike here. Every member, every person, supporters, every staff member, every one of you are a vital part of that success that will happen. In my days with the Celtics, we had a lot of we had a lot of success. We had championships not only on the court but also in the community, charitable work. But throughout the process, we also faced challenges, not unlike what we have here. And those challenges had to be met as we worked as a team. With each individual, no matter how great you were, each individual had to accept their responsibility. And you know, we worked like a body. And this is where it was explained when I first came to the Celtics, not unlike what we see here tonight. The body was a wonderful thing. When every part of that body is working the way it should, and everyone's doing the right thing, it's amazing what you can accomplish. See, we didn't want the head doing what the feet were supposed to do, or the feet doing what the hands were supposed to do. Every role was vital, and everyone was a part of that team and a vital part of that. You know, it reminded me of a situation in 19, 1984 when we got blown out on national TV. Back then, everything is national TV now, but back then it wasn't all national TV. 1984, we were blown out by 33 points by the LA Lakers. Most, at any team, Celtics team had ever lost by. So everybody said the playoffs, it was over, it's finished, all the experts will say it's over. But some way, we mustered enough energy and focus and commitment and togetherness to come back and send Magic Johnson home <laughs> crying. You know, I can think, I think we can apply those same values of teamwork and responsibility to achieve our goals with the Liberty Learning Foundation. It is vital to the success of our communities, to our youth, our country, and our future that we pass these values on through education and support. The Liberty Learning Foundation focuses on education, financial literacy, career, as well as character development. These are some of the building blocks of this great country of ours. These are, these are teachings that are instilled in every leader that has impacted this country from the battlefields to the boardrooms. One leader that we know very well knew the value of taking responsibility for your part and for working together 
And this great leader was one of the greatest presidents this country's ever known, President Abraham Lincoln. He opened his famous Gettysburg Address with one of the principles. Four score, seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. All men and women are created equal. I think I get it. No citizen is more or less or more important than the next. That means that each of us have an opportunity, an equal opportunity, to succeed and, ex and especially share responsibility to our community, our children, and to teach them how to be successful citizens. You know, President Lincoln went on to say that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom and the government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from this earth. Lincoln, of course, was, he was referring to the Civil War that would reshape our nation and inspire future leaders to continue working toward liberty for all of us. But his words still apply today. Let's do it together. Of the people, by the people, and for the people. This may be one of the earliest references to teamwork. As the people of this country, we have to work together to honor the past, as you just mentioned. Educate in the present, as we are doing today, and prepare our young people for the future. The Liberty Learning Foundation and the Next Great Generation American Tour are dedicated to that cause. We are spreading the, we are spreading the history of our great nation, making the lessons of past leaders applicable in the modern day classroom. The Liberty Learning Foundation has a strong team willing to take on this responsibility, but we need your support. We are spreading the, the, we are spreading the word. You know, it's so amazing. When you want to join a team and do your part or to contribute to our success or any success or any team, you have to be willing to make a commitment. And the commitment that we are making that you can be a part of is to the future leaders of America, our young super citizens. Tonight we celebrate the successful launch of the Liberty Learning Next Generation Tour. I look out and see so many faces, because I've seen you around the offices and I've seen you at different functions, of people that have supported this mission. You've already brought in. You've decided that you're going to be a part of this. You're going to help pass this on to the next generation. You realize how important it is for our young people to understand and honor and understand that freedom was not free. Sacrifices were made and have continued to be made. And so you've been there. We ask you to reach out to additional friends and ask them to come on and be a part of this. Because again, this is a great country. And then there's the new faces. People, some people that I've met tonight, some I haven't met but I see new people. And we ask you to support this mission because we have a, this is, this is one, of the, one of the most incredible missions that we have. We have to let these young people understand and know that freedom was not free and is not free. We all have to make sacrifices. So as we travel across the country educating and inspiring young people, we'll do that on your behalf. We'll do that with you. You're a part of the team something that's bigger than us as individuals. We're not looking for one-time supporters. We want you to buy in. We want to build solid relationships with you, with like-minded people, people that are equal to what we're doing, and see the value in investing in education and the development of our children. We're looking for people who are willing to share the responsibility in the future success of this program. 